To get good at anything, you need to practice. And uh, with portrait photography, uh, it, it's, it requires a lot of practice. I mean, uh, lighting isn't uh, the simplest thing in the world when you're first getting started. So uh, what do we do? We get our friends and family, uh, any unlucky person that we can con into sitting for us for well, extended periods of time while we mess with our lights, uh, whether it's hot lights or flash units. I mean, with the hot lights, it's like it gets hot and it's kind of uncomfortable, uh, like, like this right here. Or, you know, with flash units, uh, it's not so hot, but you got to bam, 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 all the time and the people are getting spots, seeing spots. You know, it can't be that much fun for them, but, you know, your friends, family, they want to help you out. I mean, me, I use my wife and my kids a lot, especially my wife. It'd be like, hey, uh, Deidre, I need you to come and sit over here while I do. And she's like, okay. Uh, very patient woman. Eventually, I figured out that I, I could uh, I could do this a different way and uh, make life easier on her and uh, even on me. It was a simple solution. I just bought a mannequin. I bought something to take the place of a real human being so I could practice guilt-free for as long as I wanted. My mannequin could just hold position, wouldn't get impatient. Not that my wife ever did, but uh, you know, when you're working this way, you, you can go at your own pace. You can experiment to your heart's content. Now, when I did this, I bought a full mannequin which I didn't actually need, but there was a, a clothing store going out of business. They were selling their, their various uh, racks and, and their display things and their mannequins. So I said, yeah, 50 bucks, I'll take that one. But you know, you don't need a full body mannequin to practice your portrait lighting. Really, it's, it's mostly about the face, right? So you can get away with just a mannequin head. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can just buy a cheap styrofoam head like this. Now, I just picked this up for this demo. Uh, at Hobby Lobby, uh, five dollars nineteen cents with tax. Now, I don't know if they're having a special, but the price was right, so I picked it up. And look, as long as it's got relatively realistic, you know, human features, then it's going to work for the purposes of practicing your lighting. Now, with something like this, you can practice using hot lights, flash, multiple lighting setups whatever you need. All right, so right now I'm going to demonstrate how to practice your portrait lighting using a mannequin head like this with one light. And this would basically be like a one light setup. But the one light is gonna allow me to just quickly run through the five traditional portrait lighting patterns. So starting off in the 45-45 position that I'm always talking about, the light is going to be about 45 degrees off of the camera to subject axis and about 45 degrees pointed down towards the subject's face. We're gonna start with that position and gonna be able to do variations of the Rembrandt pattern here. You have a short light pattern. Here's a broad light pattern. If we place the light up in this position right here, we are starting to see a classic butterfly light. And here's your split light. All right, so there you go. That was a quick run through of the five traditional portrait lighting patterns. Uh, those are patterns that you should probably get very familiar with before you move on to other things like multiple lighting setups. And as you can see, if you've got a mannequin head like this, it's very easy to practice with, especially with a constant light. Start recognizing those lighting patterns with the constant light and then move on to flash. Now, after you get a lot of practice in with constant lights and you're ready to move on to flash, nothing much changes in in terms of lighting placement and distances, uh, what's going to be a factor at that point is flash exposure. And I've got lots of videos on flash photography topics that'll help you out with that. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me and the mannequin head today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. There's lots of cool videos here for you to watch and learn from. I guess that's it for today. See you next time.